Welcome to the assembly video for Lantern C of our little three-piece lantern set. This one is, well, to me, it's very reminiscent of almost like a little lighthouse. Um, very, uh, very New England sort of feel to this one. And we're gonna jump right in here. Just like the last two, I've done a little bit of pre-piecing just to save time and avoid being repetitive here. But just like the two previous lanterns, we have two different sections to create the main structure. They look like this. Yours are gonna come out looking like this. I just have them showing the back so that you don't see the panels. And we are gonna put some panels on. <clears throat> Each section has a panel. And five of the sections are all the same. They look like this. They have three windows, which you can see here, and here, and here, and here. And then there's just one section that has a door, which is this section here. You can see that these are pretty much the same minus this little section at the bottom. That's the only difference. Okay, so we're gonna begin by uh, putting our windows on our little panels here. So you can see these windows here, these are all identical. You're gonna, each one, doesn't matter which one you select, they're all gonna fit the same size little cutout on our panels here. So you're gonna begin by putting the windows in place, just like I have, okay? Just make sure you line them up with the cutouts on this actual panel here. And inking is optional. This is the, um, well, this is from the Samantha Rose collection by DCWV. This is the gray marble, okay? So for the main colors on the, on the three lanterns here, we just took the three different uh, marble pieces in the Samantha Rose collection and use those. Okay, so we're gonna put this window in place. And again, for the rest of this, you've got a total of, well, there's three, six, nine, 12, 15, uh, yeah, 15, win well, 15, wait, three, six, nine, nine times two, 18, well, roughly 18 windows minus one door. So, got 17 windows to put in place. You're gonna get them all in place and then we're gonna put the door together as well. The door is made up of these two pieces. In my case, I've got a, a, a Blue Jay color. It is actually called Blue Jay. It's an AC cardstock color. But we're gonna put the white piece on top of the blue first and then we'll put the white in place, or the entire section in place. Okay, so let's get that all lined up. The bottom of this is gonna be flush with the bottom of this. And just use the little cutouts there in the center as kind of a visual cue for placement, guide. Press that down. And then we're gonna take this whole piece and glue it right here. This whole section will be flush with the bottom of this panel. Okay, so let's get that glued into place. So essentially, you're gonna put all your windows and the door on all six panels, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then once we have those all glued down, we're gonna take these panels and glue them to the main structure, which is the white piece that has three sections and a tab. These things here. These are, well, we're gonna call this the main structural pieces here, okay? So our panels are all complete. I already have four of them glued into place. You're gonna glue all six into place. I'm just gonna do two. And this is a very simple process as well. Just simply take your panel with the windows already attached and get some glue around the perimeter. And just work a little bit into the middle sections. And if you want, do a little dot in the center of the crosses on the windows. And uh, when you're putting these down, just make sure that you're using the little crosses on the windows to help you with the placement. If you have it in the right spot, you should have a nice even border on both sides and everything should be flush at the top and bottom. Okay, so you're gonna have a total of five with just windows and there's gonna be this one with a door. Okay, so make sure that you get that all set and put in the right spot. You can't really mess this up. Okay, so I'm putting glue on this piece here. This is the one with the door. And again, same thing, just using the little crosses on the windows to help me with the placement. That looks great. I 
Wonderful. Okay, now before we put this under your mat, or my mat, we're gonna join these two pieces together using this tab, okay? So let's do that. I'm gonna put some glue on this long tab here. And I'm gonna take that glue, spread it all the way out to the very edge of this tab. Put that down on my surface, grab the other side, and pop that right on top of the tab, butting it right up to the score mark there. If you could dissect that score mark in half, you almost want this to be over, covering half of the score mark. I know the score mark's really thin, you just have to kind of imagine that you've got it right in the center of that score mark, okay? Press that down and we can take it and pull it up at the seam that we just connected everything with, fold it over onto its side, and just press down on that edge. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, so that is essentially the main structure. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put this under my mat to let that kind of dry nice and flat while we work on the rest of the pieces here. And we're gonna start off with the base. Okay, and these two pieces make up the base. Okay, um, so this is the bottom bottom, and this is our little lip and the lip is gonna keep the actual lantern in place. It's gonna keep it from sliding around in case you wanna move it. Okay, so make sure that everything is nice and pre-folded. Okay. And we're gonna get this thing assembled. Pretty straightforward little piece. And gonna move that out of the way. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is taking and applying glue to these little triangular tabs here just a little bit will go a long way. So hit that with a little bit of glue and then take that and bring it in and bring the wall, the neighboring wall and glue that right there. Now the reason I have this folded over is because it's a lot easier to get my fingers in here to hold these two sections together. I'm still just gluing that to right there, but this is just, just folding it over so I can press this more firmly without you know, damaging this piece here. If I have it up like this, it's kind of hard to get in there. So I just fold that down and that way I can just press right there. Okay, so we just move right along to the next little triangular tab. Just throw a little bit of glue right on there, kind of dab it, thin it out, make it a little tackier, bring this up and push that, push that triangular tab up against the inner wall of the neighboring wall here. And just press and hold that in place. Give that a few seconds. There we go. Can move that out of the way while we apply glue to our next little triangular tab. And there we go. Bring that in, press and hold. Wonderful. And you can see there, if you don't use a lot of glue, it should really grab and hold fairly quickly. Okay, bring that in, align it, give that a press and hold. There we go. And a couple more here. There we go. Beautiful. Bring that in. And press that down. Okay. There we go. And that just leaves one more little triangular tab here. Now, since everything else is already connected, you may have to take your glue nozzle and just kind of pop it in there. And then take that, and again, just like before, take that and push that up against the inner side of this wall. Line that up and press and hold. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, we'll give that just a few seconds to set. And now we just need to close this up. We're gonna put glue on all five of these tabs here. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the glue here because we've got five sides and plus I also wanna spread it out to the edge. The thicker you lay the glue down, the more time you have before 
it starts to thin out and dry out. Okay, I'm just gonna take my finger, spread that glue out to the edges. That side felt way drier, like it's almost dry already. So keep your eye on that side. We may have to go back in and fix it. Bring this down and focus on aligning it with this edge here first. Get that nice and centered and in place and everything else should just kind of fall into place. If you need to kind of nudge and push these walls in ever so slightly, feel free to do so. You wanna get those nice and flush and aligned with this top and press that in. And now try to kind of continue to apply pressure to the perimeter here. Okay, you can actually flip this over. Can you get your finger in there? Kinda, not exactly, but you can to push the rest of the tabs down. It kind of works. Yep, it's not bad. And take a look at your work here. I'll show you my imperfections and how I'm gonna fix them. And I see it was these two, I think it was these two tabs here. You can see how it's kind of lifting off there. That's okay. Again, we're working with a lot of surface area and the glue on these sides probably started drying out before it made contact. I'm gonna throw a little bit of glue on a scrap piece of paper and just shove it in between the two layers there that are not making good contact. Paint a little extra glue on there and just press and hold that little area to get that to lay nicely. And then I have a little area there as well that could use a little extra love too. While I'm holding it, I'll just throw a little glue on my scrap and just pop it in there. And it's okay if you end up pulling more of it off to get this in there so you can apply that glue, it's not a problem. And then just press and hold that down. Okay, you might as well do it right. And now you can see how nice everything looks. Okay, so our platform is pretty much done. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little lip for this. So take this piece and go ahead and, oh, what was that? There's heard something rip. Go ahead and fold everything at the score marks. And we're gonna take these little triangular tabs, glue them to the neighboring walls to create our little lip. And this is pretty straightforward. So take and just apply some glue to the little triangular tab, and then glue that to the backside of the neighboring wall, press and hold. Give that a good squeeze. There you go, real quick. You don't need to put a lot of glue on here. Tiny amount of glue. You should almost still be able to kind of see the paper underneath the glue. I mean, I don't think that's realistic, but you know what I mean. Just make it real thin. Okay, there you go. Moving right along, next tab. And if you're trying to follow along here and you notice that, well, yours isn't sticking yet, well, I think you might be using too much glue. So ease up a little bit. You'd be surprised how little you need for it to really take hold. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Just kind of dab it with your finger if you need to. And there we go, moving right along. Okay, and we got two more here. Now sometimes I do go a little too quick. You'll know, because you'll have things kind of falling apart in front of your eyes here. Okay, there it is. And that just leaves the last one here. You're gonna have to get your, squeeze your nozzle in there because you can't really pull that out too much. And then just take that tab, push it up against the inner wall of the neighboring wall here. And there we go. Okay, so there is our little lip. And that's gonna get glued right onto the base here. We're gonna use the circle in the center as a guide for alignment as well as these little markers here on the edges or on the, on the, at the points of our little hexagon. So go ahead and get your glue onto this piece. You wanna go all the way out to the edge and you obviously want the little lip to be pointing up. There's obviously no other way to glue this down if we're putting glue on this section here. So just follow along, you'll be fine. 
Okay, just like this. Use the little markers as well as the little circle in the center. Just to make sure that we get it nice and aligned so that when we do eventually put our lantern on here, it sits properly. And just kind of continue with an even downward force or pressure all the way around. Try not to warp or bend anything. And just give that a few minutes to fully set. And if you feel that maybe there's a side that didn't get enough glue for whatever reason. Again, grab your little scrap, throw a little glue on there, tuck it in between those two layers and let it do its thing. Now we also have, just like the other two lanterns, we have this little, uh, yeah, see I've got, I've got areas here. I need to be more patient and hold this down so it really sets. Um, we have some trim that's gonna go on this piece here. It is, scored in two spots in the center. So this will be three sides. Okay, I'll show you how that goes together here in a second. I just wanna make sure that that's sitting nice and flat for me. Okay, so take this and fold it at the score mark, but also just make sure that it is kind of sitting on top of itself. So essentially what I don't want you to do is fold this so it's like that. You wanna fold it so it's nice and even because there is only one little score mark on here and depending on how well your machine cut it, it may not fold completely flat. So ensure that it's sitting right on top of itself. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Just fold that down, make sure it's nice and centered. Same with this. There we go. Okay, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this piece on the bottom here, nice and centered. And we're gonna begin with the center. So go ahead and apply your glue to the center part. There's three sections. Start with the center first. And just locate any side, doesn't matter. Pop, uh, pop it right on there. Make sure the corners align. Make sure that it's nice and horizontally level. And just give that a press. Okay, and while you're holding it down, you can actually flip this out Apply your glue to the next section. Make sure you get glue all the way out to the very edge. And then flip this down. Make sure it's nice and centered. Just press that up along the base. There we go. Now while you're holding that down, actually your table can hold it down. Slide this one out. Apply your glue. Like so. And then flip it right on there. Make sure it's nice and centered. And there you go. Okay, so now with this one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start in the center, which means that we need to apply it on the center here. So we have two sides like this. You don't wanna put it here, because then obviously you'll have two on this and one here, and then you'll have a gap. So make sure you find the middle. Okay. Get your glue on the middle section, like so. Pop it right on, make sure it's nice and centered. And before it fully sets, take a look at this one and make sure that you will be able to get it nice and aligned with the adjacent side like that. So that looks good. Got that nice and centered. Uh, while I'm holding that, I can flip this out and apply my glue to that section, bring that down and where it terminates, make sure it's matching up with this one here so they're on the same plane. Okay, that looks great. And we can flip this one back, apply our glue all the way out to the end and then go ahead and close it up. And there we go. Okay, so our base is done. Okay, so our base is done. We're gonna begin putting our acetate on the main structure here. Okay, so I'll flip this over and each section here is gonna have a piece of acetate. Now, if you're using vellum, that's fine. Or some of you have used tissue paper and that's fine too. Whatever works for you, whatever you wanna do with this. We wanted to keep this transparent as well as translucent. Okay, so we're gonna get these glued down and I'm gonna accomplish that by simply just 
doing a little line of glue around the windows here. Don't get too close to the windows, just close enough. And when you put this down, just make sure that in fact you are covering up the little cutouts <clears throat> for the windows. Just give that a nice light press, just like that. Okay, move on to the next one. If you want, you can put a little dot of glue there in the center. one. And we got three more to go. So I think this would look good either way. We have these little electronic tea lights that um, they're like lumineras where the electronic candle flame actually like moves. So we thought that'd be really cool to display. But again, you can do whatever you'd like with this. Vellum would work too. Okay, almost done here. And maybe don't rest your hand on this if you are using acetate because it does take a little bit of time for it to fully cure essentially gluing plastic onto paper. And the last one here. So I was kind of thinking that I would, because this, this bundle here works pretty well with the church from our last bundle, the white Christmas bundle. And I think that these would actually work together Pretty well. Okay, so acetate is in place. Now we have six of these, and these are gonna cover up the acetate, and that's gonna make it look nicer, and also kind of make it more sturdy. So we're gonna put all these in place. Now keep in mind that there is one that is a little bit different because it's for the door, and this one is for the window. So this one is gonna go here, and make sure you get that in the right spot. Uh, and we're gonna do all of these except for the last one, and you'll see why in a little bit here. But to get, the, to get these in place, go ahead and get some glue and focus your glue around the perimeter, mostly the perimeter, okay? And I would just completely ignore the little uh, centers of the crosses on the windows. I wouldn't worry about that. But use those as a visual guide for placement so that you get it nice and centered. And then go ahead and press down around the perimeter here and get that in place. So this is gonna make this feel nice and durable and strong while also making it look really nice on the inside. Now, if, um, well, if you're using vellum and you can't see through the middle, I guess you could omit these and not glue them down. It will make yours probably less durable less rigid but we'll save you some paper if you don't you know if you don't really care too much about polishing up the inside that's okay too no one's really gonna be looking inside this thing I mean occasionally they might but it's not going to ruin the overall aesthetic appeal okay and Got a little bit of an edge there that I didn't get enough glue on, so I'll just put a little bit of glue on a scrap piece of paper and then use that to kind of apply some extra glue in that area to make sure that that sits nice and flat for me. And just moving right along here, again, make sure you don't grab the wrong piece and inadvertently glue the little section with the door onto a section with the window. They all look kind of the same. So it might be an easy mistake to make. 
that's okay. I'll try to avoid that. And then just press down around the perimeter. Okay. That looks great. Two more to go. And we'll leave the last one off until we actually assemble this whole thing. And that is just to make it easier to kind of glue this whole thing together. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, and then all we have to do is put our little roof together. And that's probably the trickiest part, but definitely not difficult. As long as you follow along. I don't know the exact number of how many projects all of our dreamers have completed, but rarely have I encountered, if ever, somebody that, so they just couldn't do something. Because we've got videos for everything. And as long as you can follow along, absolutely no reason why you can't get it done. Okay, last one for now. Now again, I'm using, this is the one with the door. So I'm making sure that I pop that in the right spot. <clears throat> there we go. Wonderful. Just press that down. Make sure it gets a good hold. There we go. Okay, great. So that is all in place. Now it feels nice and heavy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these two pieces together now. So to do that, we need to apply some glue to this long tab here. Okay. And I'll spread that glue out to the very edges of the tabs. Okay. And there we go. Pop that down. There we go. And just press that down. Now you can take it, lift it up at that seam, fold it over on the side. And that kind of gives you a good visual to make sure that you've got everything nice and lined up. The top should be nice and flush, as should the bottom. And there we go. Okay, so that just leaves this one panel here for the inside. Let's find that. It's this guy here. Okay, and you can see now the idea is to take this and cover up not only that tab, well, it is to cover up that tab, and then also just so that it's not as bulky, so that this edge looks nicer and doesn't stand out so much. So now we're going to put this piece in. Go ahead and get your glue around the perimeter. A little bit here in the middle. Okay, now find that section, slide that in, kind of taking a look up at the top, aligning that section first. Pardon my head for a moment there. You can look through the other, other windows to check your work here, and there we go. And you can actually just flatten that and press that down like this to get that in place. All right, rocking and rolling here, almost done. Cool. Okay, so there we have that. And you can see how nicely that's going to go onto our little base. I just have to put a roof on this thing. And we're going to be all set here. Speaking of which, let's take a look at it here. We've got two sections to this roof. This is um, one of the main sections here. And you can see that I've already pre glued a few of the little panels here. A total of six of these, they're all going to go on this little trapezoid shaped section. Okay, so next step here is we're going to take these sections with the little vent cutouts and we're going to glue those together by simply taking some glue and putting glue on these little sections here, the little tabs. And we can take and bring this down, get that lined up nice and even, and just press and hold that together. like so. OK, 
Okay, and just move right on to the next one. Go ahead and get some glue on the tab. Tuck it behind the neighboring little vent area there. And get that in place. Wonderful. Okay, next one. Pop that right in place. And press and hold that. Okay. Next one, same thing, just going all the way around, getting all the sections connected, no big deal. Very simple. And just press and hold that in place. And then we'll take the larger sections and get those glued into place. Wonderful. A couple more. Putting glue on there. Take that, tuck it behind, get it nice and lined up, and press and hold. There we go. And that just leaves one more little tab here. And again, that one might be tough to get into. You can probably do it from the inside. Shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Just go from the inside. Nice little bit of glue there. And tuck that right behind, line it up, and press and hold. And you can see what's happening here. There's something happening here. Okay. All right, so that's what we have. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is join these pieces that are just kind of dangling in the wind here. And we're gonna accomplish that by simply taking some glue onto these little trapezoid tabs here and gluing them to their neighbors. So go ahead and throw a little bit of glue on this tab. I'm gonna take that glue and spread it out. It's a nice large tab. And then just take that and tuck it right behind its neighbor, like so. There we go. And then we'll move on right here to the next one. Throw some glue on that guy. There we go. And tuck it right behind. So yeah, this does kind of remind me of a light tower. Uh, it's, you know, it's not, um, the shape is a little bit different, but it's still cool. Definitely very New English, New English, New England. Um, sort of beachy, nautical. It's really cool. All right, next tab here. Getting my glue on there. Tuck it behind the previous piece. Get it nice and lined up. Give it a press. There we go. And there we go. Get that lined up and glued down. And it just leaves a couple more here. Almost done. There we go. All right. And the last tab, putting the glue on from the inside so I don't stretch this thing out too much. And apply that, get that joined up with the neighboring piece, and voila. Okay, so that section is done. Wonderful. We'll let that rest for a minute. While we go over here to the little top, I don't know if you want to call this a finial, I guess you can. Um, I've already pre-glued uh, pre four of the copper little panels on here. So we'll finish off the other two. You're going to glue all six, obviously. And you just want to get them nice and centered on their corresponding triangular areas on the structural piece. Okay. So get that right in place. And I would start, I would focus my attention on the bottom here, making sure that the border right here is nice and even. 
try to keep it even with the side as well. So you can kind of see that we've got a nice even border there. Don't worry too much. There's going to be a little bit of room up at the top, but that's just normal. Okay. I'm going to put my last one in. You're going to repeat this after this one a total of four more times to get all six of yours in place. And again, kind of gazing at the bottom here, making sure that the borders are nice and even. Wonderful. And this is, uh, this is kind of a, well, it's a solo piece. It doesn't really tie into anything else. So we'll be able to finish this one up here in a second. We're gonna glue this side and this side together by putting glue on this tab, like so. And you can take and slide that under the opposite side there and glue that down. You can actually flatten this out since it's symmetrical and push down with a little bit more force that way. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so now before we close this up, I actually kind of blemish this a little bit with some glue, that's okay. Before we close this up, I'm going to put a little handle in place, which is right here. So we'll do that next. All right, so our little handle here, uh, you'll notice that at the very tip of the handle on each one, there's a little score mark. So you want to go ahead and fold at the score mark. And just like we did with the previous two lanterns, we're going to take and glue these back to back, like so. Okay. So go ahead and apply glue to one side. Doesn't matter which one, they're both the same. And we'll take this, glue it right to the back of the other one. Make sure that it's nice and aligned. I would use the little ball in the center as your guide to make sure that it is aligned. And then you can flatten out the tabs and give that a full press. The tabs will not be glued to each other since we didn't put glue on them. They're still loose. But this way you can really press down on it without warping it too much. Okay, and you can see that the little tabs are still loose and free. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to pop it in through the little slits here. Okay, you might have to stretch it out a little bit. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these tabs in here, we're going to spread them out. We're going to put glue, in my case, on the outer side, the side with the actual copper. Now, if you're not using metallic paper, it may look a little different, but just a little dot of glue on that one side. And then we're going to take it and push it up against the inside. Okay, up against the inside of our little roof piece here. And just press and hold that in place. And you can take the other one and bring it over and apply some glue to the other side. I think just one little drop of glue should do. Okay, you can see that little dot of glue right there. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna push it up against the inside wall. Let me show you that again, it was kinda. So the glue is on this side, I'm gonna push it up against the inside of the wall, and then I can just press and hold it from the inside. You can see what that looks like there. Okay, we'll do the same thing to the other side here. So you want to spread these out. Okay, make sure it's all the way in there. So you can see that spread out. We'll just put, whoops, actually, I need to put glue on the other side. Just a little dot of glue on one side. Okay, so you can see right there, that little dot of glue. I'm gonna take that and push it up against the inside. Okay, I'm gonna do that this way though so I can actually see what I'm doing and feel it. Make sure it's nice and lined up. And then we'll take this one here, fold it over and apply our glue like so. And then take it and push it up against the inside. Take a look from the outside, make sure that all looks good, and it does. It looks great. We'll give that a moment to set, and then I'm going to go ahead and need to close this up now. Make sure that that sets completely before you move on here. And then uh, that's just a matter of joining all these pieces together, and essentially this is just going to get glued to the top. So we just need to join this piece together 
and then glue that to that and we'll call it a day. All right, so that looks like it's set. We're gonna take these tabs and fold them down and we're gonna apply glue to all five of these tabs. I'm gonna go a little heavier with the glue here. Like so. And spread that glue out to the edges. There we go. All right, and now I'm gonna take this piece, the side that's already anchored, bring it down and focus on getting it lined up with this side first. And since this piece is six-sided, may I kind of have to scrunch things around to make it fit right. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then once you have it, can you kind of use your table to uh, hold it in place? And if we need to go in and kind of clean things up to make the seams look nicer, we can do that absolutely after the fact. Once it's kind of got its initial hold, you can see that little area there did not take very well. So while I'm holding the rest of it in place, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of glue right on a scrap piece of paper. Just tuck it right in between those two layers. Paint a little extra glue on that section that was not playing nice. And just press and hold that down, give it a little extra love. And just keep holding that down until that glue sets. I think this side probably needs a little extra love too. And that happens, it's okay. No worries. There's almost nothing you can't fix when it comes to the, these paper crafts. So don't, this should be enjoyable. Don't stress yourself out. Just kind of tuck that in there, get a little extra glue right in there. And just press that down. I want nice clean looking seams. Okay, and I've got one more little area here that I could probably leave alone, but I'm, I'm pretty obsessive compulsive with almost everything in life, so I'm gonna make sure that I do it right. And I need some glue right out to that tip. Pop that right in there. And just paint that glue in there. And press that down. There we go. Yeah, we're talking. Okay, so that part's done. That's gonna get glued onto the top once we have, whoa, once we have all this in place. Now I'm gonna put this on in a little bit. Next thing we need to do, now you'll notice on this piece, I already have it folded. It starts off like this. Essentially there's a little top. There are some tabs. These, this shape of tab, has a little T on it, T for top. This is your top. And then these tabs here, these longer ones, they should have a little B on them. Do they? No, they don't. Okay, well, it doesn't matter because these have a T. One of these had a B on them, I thought. Oh, that's right, it's right here. We have a whole nother piece that we're gonna need to put on here in a second, and that's fine. So we need to join these pieces here to this. So what we're gonna start off by doing is, actually before we do anything, we need to glue this together with these little triangular tabs. Okay, so go ahead and throw a little bit of glue on this triangular tab here. I'm gonna kind of dab that a little bit. And then pop that behind this wall and press and hold that in place. Give that a second. Okay. And then move on to the next one. Got another little triangular tab here. Just a nice little dot of glue. Tuck it behind this wall, line it up, and give that a nice press like that. There you go. And on to the next one. Tuck that behind, line it up, and press. There we go. Move it on, 
triangular tab, dot of glue behind this wall, you line it up and press. And all the way around, we've got two more to go. Let me clean this off. Okay. And that just leaves one more. One little dot of glue is all you need. And tuck that right there. Okay. All right. So that's that. Um, well, you know what we can actually do here? Let's do this first. Press these down, flatten them out. This is the side with the little T on them, okay? So that it sits flat like this. I'm gonna grab this piece, okay? This piece starts off like this, and it has a little B on two of these. You can fold these out like so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna join this to this section here. We're gonna start by gluing it to one tab first. So let's get it on this tab here. Doesn't matter which one, you can pick which side you want. It's all the same. And take this, line it up with that tab, get it nice and centered. Nice and centered. And press that into place. There we go. Perfect. I can take this and flare it out just so it's easier to Get your hands on the rest of these tabs. So go ahead and put glue on the rest of these tabs. We want to put this on first so that it takes on its ultimate form, which will make it a lot easier to glue the roof on accurately. Okay, so I've got the glue on there. I'm going to spread that glue out to the very edges of my tabs here, like so. Like that, okay. And from the anchored side, we're gonna bring this down and align it with the side opposite of the anchored side here. Get that nice and centered. Centered, centered, centered. There we go. And the rest of it should fall into place if you need to kind of push some things in a little bit as far as the walls go, that's totally normal. Just get it nice and aligned. And then just kind of work your fingers all the way around the perimeter. Now I know I'm gonna to have to go in and clean this up a little bit here. I'm gonna have this side probably will not, didn't get to it in time for it to stick, but maybe, we'll see. Could actually work. And if not, it's not a problem. Okay. And this is our bottom, so if it's not perfect, it's not the end of the world. And we'll check our work here in a second. Well, so far, actually, that looks pretty darn good. Maybe this side here might need a little extra love. Same with this side. The rest of it looks pretty darn good. Okay, so checking my work here, looking for little gaps, if any. We'll go and clean those up. I've got a little area there that I'm not very happy with, so... Grab my scrap and just tuck that glue right in between that little area where it's just not sitting pretty. And I'll just press that into place and hold it like that. And this side here, let me see here. Eh, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm gonna clean it up anyway. I'm actually gonna put glue right on the very tip here like that, and we'll just pop that right in there. There we go. Okay, and just press that down, there we go. Now that's a clean seam. Okay, so again, we have our little B here, and we have our little T here, so bottom and top. So we know that this, this is bottom, it's gonna get glued in there, and the top is gonna hold the roof in place. Okay, so find the side with the letter T, which is this side here, and we're gonna begin gluing this 
this roof piece to the tabs with the letter T on them, or the side with the letter T on them, I should say. So start here. You can put glue on this tab with the letter T on it. Take this piece, drop it right on there. Make sure it's nice and centered. Okay, you can take a look from the inside as well if you need to. But ultimately, you want to make sure that you do have it nice and centered on that tab. Okay. And just press that down. Now, if you want, it may help to kind of, let me do this again real quick so I can show you. Instead of gluing it like this, glue it so that, grab this tab and fold it so that you have a 90 degree angle here. Okay, see how I've got a 90 degree angle here? And then you can take this and literally glue it like that so that you can kind of push this up against this piece of our little structure here. That way you know it's as far as it'll go. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the glue here since, okay, so now I've got it at 90 degrees. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna push this up as far as it goes, making sure that it's nice and centered. And I'm just gonna hold that in place for a moment. Let's just get one side anchored and that will kind of set the tone for everything else. And that looks pretty good as far as centering goes. It's a little awkward, but once you've got it, you can kind of hold it from both sides of the tab there and give that plenty of time to really get a grip. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got it anchored on one side. And now I'm gonna go ahead and anchor it to the opposite side. So we're putting glue on the other T now. Bring that down and push that down as far as it'll go. And then grab both sides of that tab and just press and hold that down until it's fully set. I'm just pushing down from, you can see where the tab ends right there. Obviously you want to push down here too, but work on the edges here. And then the cool thing is, is we can apply our glue from the inside now because for the most part, this thing's all intact. So grab whichever tab you want next. I'm gonna grab this one here. So we're still working with the same tabs that were on the same, uh, same section as that letter T. Let me pull this back. You can see I'm pulling this tab back and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this tab. You can see that there. And I'm going to push that up against the inside, just like we did with the first two pieces. And again, make sure that it is in fact nice and centered. There's still room for error as far as centering here until we get, uh, I think this is probably the last one. Once we get this one in, I don't think we can really goof this up. Okay, so that looks like that worked out nicely. And then we can move over to another tab here. So I'm going to grab this one and peel that back and peel it back with my glue nozzle. Just throw a little bit of glue on it, which you can see there. Put glue on the, on this side of the tab and I'm gonna push that down up against the inside here. But I'm gonna look at the outside of the piece here to make sure that it's nice and flush with this surface. And that's where I'm gonna hold it to make sure that it looks all nice and seamless. There we go. Okay, and if my memory serves me correctly, I should have two more tabs to go. Maybe just one. Yeah, just one, okay. So last tab here, there it is. I'm gonna put glue on the tab. You don't need to worry about getting it on the entire thing, just a little bit, it goes a long way. Okay, and again, I'm gonna take that and push it up against the inside but I'm gonna look from the outside to make sure that it looks nice and flush. And just hold that in place. Amazing feat of paper engineering. Okay, so that's that. And now, put that down flat. We've got this little piece here that we're gonna just glue down to the outside here, like so. So all we need to do for that 
is apply glue. And I'm going to put glue on this piece here, actually. I'll just go right out to the very edge of this section. It's a little different. I don't remember ever doing anything like this, actually, which is cool. It's always fun to do new things. So I'm going right out to the edge. I'm trying to stay away from the inside part because I know that that glue is going to spread to the inside. I'm going to press it down and I'm going to take my finger and smooth this glue out all the way around. Okay. And then I can take this and drop it down right into place. And just work your fingers around the perimeter. Make sure it's nice and flush with the top and the edge. Like that. Perfect. Okay, so finally, almost finally, I need to take this piece and using these tabs with the letter, with the letter B on them, I need to anchor this to the inside of our main structure here. Okay, so make sure that all of your tabs are in. Essentially, that is what it's going to look like from the outside. Okay, and what we're going to do, I'm going to start off by putting glue on just one of the tabs. We'll start with the tab with letter B on it. Okay, like that. We'll pop that in. Get it lined up with one of the sides. I'll show you here from this angle. Just pop that in. Make sure all the tabs are in. It just makes it easier. And just line that up. Get it nice and centered. And I'm pushing down here and I'm pushing up from inside on that tab. Okay, hopefully that is centered. It looks good. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Hopefully, I can show you what that looks like from the inside. Let's see here. Well, actually, you know what? I can tilt this back. And there you can see this is the letter B tab, and it is glued to the inside here. So we're going to literally put glue on all of these, fold them down up against the inside of each of these walls. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way over to the other B. So it's the side opposite of the side that we just glued down. I'm going to put glue onto the actual surface where the letter B is, like so. Now this time it's going to be important that we actually tuck the, all the tabs in. Okay, make sure all the tabs are in. And then you can stick your hand in there and take that tab and make sure it's centered first off. Get it nice and centered. Make sure all the tabs are in. They are. Get it centered and then push down while you're pushing up from the inside. I wish I could show you that, but I'll show you the inside here in a second. Make sure it's nice and flush up against the underside of this little roof. There we go. Okay, now let's see if you can see in there. Yeah, you could probably see it. Okay, here I'll show you. This tab has not yet been glued. This tab has not yet been glued. This one has. This one hasn't, this one hasn't. We're going to put glue on the surface of each of these right here, and then we're going to push them up against the inside of the wall, all four of these, just like we did with the first two. Now you are going to have to kind of put your glue in there like so. Might be a little, won't be impossible. It doesn't need to be perfect either. You can see how messy my glue is right there. And then we're going to take this and push that glue with that tab up against the inside here and just press that down. Very simple. And then find the next tab here. So I'm just going to pick one. I'll go here, grab that one and put some glue on it. You can see the glue on there. Nothing special. We'll take it and push it up against that wall there. I'm going to do that with my hand. This is, which side is it? This one here. Again, kind of almost pushing this up so that it goes up against the underside of the roof there. And then just press that tab up against the inside. And that just leaves me with two more tabs here. We've got this one and this one. 
And I'm just going to do both of these at the same time. Just throw some glue on here. And on there. Okay. And then we'll just take those tabs and push them up against the inside. And there's that one. That's it. We just need to put our little top on, finally. There we go. Put that on our base. And to get this on top here, just simply put your glue on the top part of this guy so we know exactly where the glue needs to go. We don't want to put it on this piece because this piece is a little bit wider. I'm going to spread that glue out to the very edges here. Okay, and then we'll take this piece and we want the little hanger to not... So here's the door. There's the door and there's the hanger. We want the hanger to be this way as far as relative to the door, okay? So I'm just gonna pop it on like that. Well, actually, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put the hanger facing the door, actually. So make sure that that is nice and centered. Kind of do a, an eagle eye sort of view from up above. Make sure that you've got it nice and centered all the way around and press and hold that down. Okay, and just kind of keep, keep holding that down. Make sure it makes good contact all the way around. And that's pretty much it. Let's see here. Perfect, great. And that'll do it. So there is piece number three. Everything looks great, nice and crisp. Couldn't be happier with it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, take a moment and visit our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button while you're there. Hit the little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new video, whether it be free or paid. Uh, and if you make this or anything from our bundle, if you make all three, I'd love to see your version of it. So visit us on our Facebook group by heading over to your Facebook and doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group. Um, you can join myself and the almost 26,000, I think, dreamers that inspire us daily. Um, oh, and also, make sure you take a look at the final photo of this and all the other lanterns in this bundle um, to see where we added, um, you know, some rhinestones or pearls to kind of jazz this up. Uh, obviously, our little door here needs a handle, and there's also some other things that we can do to the windows just to kind of jazz it up. So I can't wait to see what you do with these lanterns. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again.